Vitsko Ivankovic was born on September 3, 1964, in Bijakovici. She was 16 years old when the apparitions began, making her the oldest visionary. She is one of eight children in her family and is described as strong-willed, full of energy, courageous, outspoken, and fearless. Most know Vitska from the beautiful smile that continuously spreads across her face for the pilgrims who come to listen to her speak. She is always cheerful and joyful and is the most expressive in the apparitions, which has made her the most interesting visionary to watch. The visionary Vitska advises us to follow what the Virgin Mary tells us. Start the day with prayer. Vitska talks about the importance of morning prayer. When you wake up, you all have personal problems in your life. This is especially true for those who experience great anxiety, either because of health problems, love or work. How to start the day off positively? How do you clear your mind of negative thoughts? Vitska explains how to face the next day during her interview with Father Livia. To the question of the priest, the visionary says, if you wake up in the morning and start thinking about this and where did you put God? The Virgin Mary wants God to be the first priority in our thoughts and hearts as we wake up in the morning. We must start the day with prayer, for example, a Hail Mary. If I only start the day once, welcome Mary whom we pray to with our hearts, then the day starts with joy and blessings. Vitska speaks in another interview about the impact of prayer on the soul. Vitska states, problems and diseases are God's gifts, often we can't check our negative thoughts and we burden them in the morning. On the other hand, the more severe the problem, the harder it is to take the mind away from it. But Vika says we have to trust God to solve problems. But how can we do this? The only way to understand is that if God gave these problems to us, there is a reason that we won't be able to understand. As far as suffering is concerned, the Virgin Mary says that when God gives you suffering or a cross, it's a great gift of her love. Most people consider suffering and sickness as an accident. Vitska then explains that this is not true and she testified, there is no shame. I immediately say with all my heart that this illness or difficulty is really a great gift. I say this from personal experience because I have accepted my suffering as a gift. Anyone who knows Vitska's story knows she has suffered a lot in her life, but has always struggled with faith and begged God and the Virgin Mary to send her other crosses for the salvation of souls. At the end of an interview she explains the reason. Suffering is a gift because God sends you suffering to help him accomplish his plans to help your brother or your neighbor. Please like and subscribe to assist me in bringing you these videos every day. God bless you.